Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles like Great Millstone. Salutation to Akiam, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. This is your brother Yasad back at you with another lesson. Well, let it define to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. So here it is, you know. A article posted by by the brother Imad, you know, from our 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 um, group, you know, um, yeah, and it it it, it just sparked interest to me, you know, that I uh, had a fire up one upon it, because hey, the scripture saying Second Ezra, um, fifteen. Speak down into the air of my people the words of prophecy, right? And even this itself here is a prophecy because we, we are in them times, right? Where, where um, we gonna be, we gonna, this word that we preach is gonna be treason against the state. You know, it's gonna be unlawful. You know, it's gonna be a crime. Just as how it was unlawful and it was a crime back in the days of our Lord Yahushai Mashiach, you know, um, where our el um, elders and apostles were persecuted, they were killed, they were crucified, they, uh, they were persecuted, they were put to death for this very same word, you know. And funny thing is here what they say, you know, I'll go into the article. Proposed Canadian law could see Christians jail for quoting the Bible. And we know their their target is really not the Christians because the Christians they already have them in their grasp because they under the 501 and also they they um they set up that that, that religion for these Christians, you know, they already have the, them in their hands, so their objective is not, is not really the Christians, but they that who are keeping the testimony of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, you know, because brothers do many videos upon this, right, that that the time going to come where we're going to be persecuted for, for the Lord's name's sake, you know, um, I'll go on it's in block Kuben Kois Bill C three six seven passes religious exemptions under the hate speech section of the criminal code would be removed and because I mean who who, who is the group that they they they, they 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 figuratively target for for hate speech, you know? When you when you look up on 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 um through using using the, the the um voice command on Google or the AI, you know upon upon Great Millstone the Israelites, you know, they, they would they, they don't have nothing well to say beside we are a hate group, you know we promote misinformation and all these things because. Their target really and truly is the men of the Lord. Because this year is going to be uh, one of the greatest moves uh, of this man. One of the, the this man's trump card, you know, to get rid of the prophets. Same way as it was back then, you know. Getting rid of the prophets are, are the Lord, you know. Not new under the sun. The same spirit of uh, uh, Herod and, and the Caesars back in, in them, them now, right? Because not new under the sun, the same spirits come back, the same, you know, ancient Roman Empire, the the rulers, the governors, you know, they they, they back here all again, right? That's why Yahushai said, um, all eyes gonna see him, even they that pierced him, you know, which proves reincarnation. It say, which could which which could see christians arrested for quoting scriptures or publicly voicing opposition to sin hmm. 
and and what's going into what just as how we preach about the gospel repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand you know so they you could be placed into prison for what um preaching for the people not to not to commit sin for the people to turn away from the wickedness and this is how you know this man is is really the devil you know and his eyes has been upon the men of the lord for a very long time it is should christians be arrested for quoting portions of the bible in public should pastors be charged with a hate crime when they preach against certain sins should churches be closed if the government does not approve of their beliefs which shows you that they are in control you know they are in control of what the people are taught and that is why they has they have no control over the truth you know this truth they have no control over it you might think these are ridiculous questions after all this is canada the true north strong and free our national motto is mari eski ad mari quoted from psalm 72 and 8 which says that christ shall have dominion from sea to sea this is not communist china right however with the introduction of the bill c367 all these questions may that all these questions are on the table i call this bill the closet the christian's bill because that is exactly what it is intended to do put christians in the closet on the threat of jail time it will silence believers who oppose the woke ideology that is overrunning our country this um, repressive christophobic proposal from block chris b Coy's leader Yves Francois Blanchet is currently before parliament and may be voted on shortly. If the Trudea liberals support this bill, it will most certainly pass, striking a fatal blow against freedom of religion and freedom of expression in this dominion. And that's it, you know, what we have is not a religion. What we have is actually an heritage. Sirach. Sirach 44 and 22. It says, With Isaac did he establish, likewise for Abraham, his father, seek the blessing of all men and the covenant right so the lord established the the the, the 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 blessings and the covenant unto abraham you know um and made it rest upon the head of jacob so it was passed down to jacob you know being you know um to his lineage you know being passed down that by the scripture say acts Ask them for the old parts. When is a good good way? You know? Because they they are to teach the younger younger generations to grow up, you know, according to the Lord's such and commandment, the way I have Shemel Shai. And made it rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him an heritage again gave him an heritage so when we express 
we go the twitch it is not something that we forcing onto the people or doing a convert like a conversion or con converting the people in a form of you know something new but this here is something that was always a part of you because basically that why um i think it was either peter or paul that said i still up your pure mind to remembrance you know because though he once knew this let me see if i get that To the point second peter 2 and 3 the second epistle beloved i now write unto you in both which i stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance you know yeah pa, you know so basically is 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 is, is bringing back our lost identity unto us right It said and divided his portions among the twelve tribes did he part part them. Right? Because Jeremiah seventeen four we always bring it out. A lot of you would know this precept by now. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Yeah, so basically, we discontinued from the heritage that was passed on for our forefathers unto us, you know. Hmm. So, so henceforth, this year's was originated. You know, it is it is your origin, right, Lord. The Lord chose Israel to, to, to be that way, you know. Um, but basically, according to the article, because we know their target is us. We know their target is, is the men of the Lord. They're not worried about no Christian who they have, you know, the pastor <clears throat> um, indoctrinating them with a, a, a sort of foolishness. What harm could they really do? You know? When when the the, the jump shot came out and the pastor tell them take it and etc. They did. Because the, these Christians they, they uninformed. They don't understand the scripture, they don't understand the prophecies. So they they out of the picture, you know, that they they ain't no target, they already caught in a snare well it is so are these sons of men snared in a in a in a evil time that's roughly paraphrasing let me get here revelation 12 and 16 um 30 point 17 and the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of a seed which kept the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and have the testimony of Yahushai and Mashiach because one these Christians don't keep keep the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai because why? This doesn't they tell you that it's okay to eat pork it's okay to eat the unclean meat by their by their um the ideology and false breakdown of the scriptures where they would tell them bless it and eat it and all this foolishness that the Lord done away with we saved under grace so we know the Christians they they out of the picture 
it say and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. They don't have the testimony of Yahweh Shai because why? They believe in a white God, a white Savior. So that is not the testimony because the testimony of Yahweh Shai, you know, which goes into proof, you know, evidence, right? Because um, through the scripture, we acknowledge that as evidence of Yahweh Shai, right? The description of Yahusha is also all, also given in Revelation, the book of Daniel as well, you know, etc. But they don't they don't have no belief on Yahusha, you know. So hey, um, this being a target on us and it's all a part of prophecy, right? That's why um Yahusha is saying that um. Right, man. They, they, they're going to be killed for, 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 for his name's sake. Persecuted. Um, right, um, Matthew 5 11, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. Yeah, you know. Um, let's see. Yeah. Verse 12, rejoice and be glad exceedingly, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted. They the prophets which were before you. Yeah, not new under the sun, you know. Um scripture say Emos speaking on how they hate him that rebuke it in the gate, you know. Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuke it in the gate and they abhor him that speak it uprightly. Because they they want to criminalize those that that is in opposition, you know, against sin, you know, preaching, you know, stop repent. No, I mean um repent, turn from your wicked ways, you know. You know, um, stop sin. So they want to decrypt. They want to criminalize, criminalize those that that um, you know, want, trying to make it turn from your wicked ways. You know, and and that is just <laughs> wow. Hmm. This the see um these Edomites are really really at work. You know. More and more they manifest in who they are. Right? They're revealing who they really are. The wicked that the Bible speaks of, you know. He's really showing the border of wickedness. Hmm? Revelation 20 and 4. It's an I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon his forehead or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years yeah you know because brothers a persecution is gonna come right as the house shall say you know um he, he had told you all things so hey, we ought not to think these things to be strange when when that time comes right and hey it's food i want to prove it that that this would happen right i'm gonna get this precept here 
Und du hast gewonnen. White Robes. Right. Revelation 6 and 11. And I'll close off for this. And white robes were given unto every one. Um, Revelation 6. Right. And 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. Right? Yeah, just as back then, you know, when when Herod heard about the Messiah coming to replace, you know, and be a king over the people, he he, he looked to, to to kill all the all the newborns, you know, male at that time, so it had a great you know, cry in Jerusalem Ram and mourning for ch children, you know. Had the great slaughter from Herod. You know, uh, Edomite. Right, so just as in this time in here, he saw um, Revelation 12 and 12. You know, he had but a short time. So you're gonna come down with great wrath. Right, so not new under the sun. They all do think alike because they are the same spirits coming back. I saw on the, under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh by Shemi or Shai. And for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Yahweh, by Hashem, O Shai, holy and true, does that, does, does not, yeah, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest for a little season. Until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And a hey, prophecy, you know, not new under the sun, just as how the things that had been, you know, which is already, you know, had been it all not new under the sun here. So, same thing that happened back then is gonna happen now. So, we this is nothing surprising unto us, you know. We can we had to expect these things. I hope this lesson was very fine. All praises to you. How about Shemi Oshai, by Shemi Kakodash? Double on city, you elders and apostles, I great millstone. Salute to you, Akiam. Until the next one, Shalom.